again, everyone. Welcome back. Today I'm reviewing a size of cigar that I usually don't review. This is uh, Lancero, and this is the Lat Lancero. Lat Lear Lancero. Of course, this is from Pete Johnson, his brother, and a few friends, and these are made in the My Father factory in Esteli. But uh, brand new cigar. A friend of mine just brought it back from the IPCPR. Uh, this uses an Ecuadorian uh, wrapper and Nicaraguan binder and filler. Comes in boxes of 15. It is seven and a half by 38. That is basically a nice size pencil. Okay, and there is your density. And also notice the cute little pigtail on the cap. Now it's a nice brown, dark brown wrapper. Of course, it's well made. Actually, for a little thin cigar, I'll call it thin, has a nice weight in the hand. So uh, I'm anxious to get right to it. Let's get right to it. The Lat Lancero. All right, as you remember, we have a little pigtail here. I'm going to take off just a little bit of the cap around that pigtail. A little bit of a firmness to the draw, but I think we'll be okay. Yeah. Shouldn't be very difficult to light this cigar. Well, let's see. The first flavors I'm getting are very pronounced, sweet orange citrus with a lot of, of, uh, of wood notes attached to it. Black pepper at about an eight and a half. It's very intense black pepper, which I like, by the way. A dash of nutmeg attached to the orange citrus. There's some. There is a lot of sweetness in an orange flavor, citrus flavor, with a little nutmeg, a lot of dry wood. Uh, that's sort of how it hits you at first, and that's like what I like to describe on the uh, initial light up. So let's leave it there. We'll come back and uh, uh, update it. But uh, really nice opening flavors, and it starts right away. You. you a lot of times I have to wait a minute or two to, to nail down the flavors. This is right up front, so it's a nice start. So, be right back. Close to an inch in, and I'm satisfied with my flavor assessment that I initially gave you. Let me break it down a little more in depth. There's a nice, sweet orange citrus. The nutmeg is a dry nutmeg, and the wood is dry wood, so you've got a very nice sweet flavor and a couple of dry flavors fighting each other. Now the black pepper is incredibly intense and so nice. It's lingering on the uh, palate and the back of my tongue very nicely. If you're a fan of heavy black pepper, you're going to like this. Finish is a very sweet cream. Almost, um, it's more than cream though. It's almost like a a uh, creamy pudding almost. It's very, very sweet, very nice. So uh, the Lat Lancero is uh, is uh, small in diameter, but packs some powerful flavors, and they're very nice. Well, I guess I'm about two and a half inches in. The uh, the nutmeg notes are quite prominent now. The citrus notes are directly attached to the nutmeg and still sweet, but I would call them secondary. There's almost a brown sugar flavor sweetness now. And of course, the uh, the wood notes are still there. The black pepper is the one constant. It is still quite intense and it's just everywhere. I mean, uh, 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 you get it on the first part of the draw is, and it's the last thing on the lingering uh, finish. It's really nice. I would call the cigar medium to full bodied. It's not overly full bodied. Uh, it hasn't gotten full bodied yet. And I 
I sort of think it won't, but uh, I don't know yet. But uh, I would call it medium to full body. It's just burning evenly. Uh, it won't take a great deal of time. You see where we are time-wise at this point. So it won't it won't last nearly as long as a, a, a 54 inch rain gauge at this size would, but it's uh, going along very nicely. Well, I've got about two and a half inches remaining and the only big difference here is the wood notes now taste more like black coffee. It's just a very dark, deep flavor of black coffee. The wood notes aren't really to be found anymore, but on the uh, other sweeter notes, the nutmeg and the uh, citrus notes are still there. Nutmeg should be what I would call in the lead, and the uh, citrus is secondary. Black pepper is still very good. Might have toned down just a bit. My initial assessment was eight and a half. It's maybe eight. It's not dropped much. The finish is now on the lines of what I call a toasted cream. It's more of a, it's still sweet, but it has a toasted aspect to it. And you still have some lingering uh, black pepper. So uh, I would still call it medium to full. We're on the upper edges of medium to full though. So it could be reaching full body status here shortly. I only have about an inch and a half remaining, but I wanted to come back to tell you that the nutmeg notes have pretty much gone away. You still have the citrus notes, which they're not overwhelming because you've got so many, again, they're back, the wood notes and the coffee notes are still there. So you've got a lot of coffee and wood notes, dry wood notes, really fighting for dominance with that citrus. So kind of nice combination there, but you really are left with a lot more dry wood notes and coffee notes than citrus notes, and you still have them. Uh, black pepper remains good. Finish is about the same. Definitely full bodied now. Uh, in the last segment, when I said it was very close to full bodied, shortly after that, it just hit it. It hit full bodied, so we're there. Uh, I'll be back here in just a few minutes to wrap it up. to the end so let's wrap it up first point you can pretty much throw out the window what i said earlier about this cigar won't last as long as a 54 inch rain gauge look at the time very long smoke second of all for me the first half of the cigar was better than this second half i enjoyed the first half much more had a lot more of the sweet citrus notes and nutmeg and the dry wood, and it made a nice combination. Second half, you lost a lot of the sweet notes. They downturned. Uh, you had uh, uh, entrance, uh, introduction of coffee notes. Um, cigar did achieve full body. If that's a, uh, an issue uh, for you, then that's a good thing. But um, all in all, I enjoyed this, the first half of the cigar more. Very good cigar, don't get me wrong, but uh, uh, just tailed off a little bit here at the end. All in all, I'm rating it 92. Still a very good cigar. Uh, if it had stayed the way it was the first half, it would have been much higher. And But still, a 92, very good cigar. So there you have it, the Lat Lancero on shelves now.